Now, we told you Sergio Garcia was able to win, win in Singapore for his fourth win in the past 11 months. Not the only one celebrating, though, from Singapore. Now, these four players will all make their first appearance in the open as they all finished inside the top 12. Latin America Amateur Championship, we know what's at stake there. Invitation to the Masters, an exemption into the Amateur, into the U.S. Amateur, and into the final round of qualifying at the U.S. Open and the Open. Let's get to the highlights. Number one amateur in the world, Billy, it is Joaquin Neiman. Pick him up for the ninth. Yeah, and uh, this bunker shot a little bit from an uphill lie, short-sighted himself, but in for eagle on the par five. Uh, lowest round of the week, 64, finds himself in second place at four under, tied with the defending champ, that's Toto Ghana. A good angle over here on the left side of this fairway, this flag, beautiful golf swing there from our defending champion. And for Toto, there is no place like home. Oh, hello. That'll get it done. Easy tap in there for Birdie. Morgan at 18. Yeah, just from the fringe, and uh, the, it's all dependent on how it comes out of that fringe. It came out very smoothly. Mm. Bingo. The defending champ, one back. For me, it's perfect to be there in the number one or number two. And now we have Joaquin Neiman, so we have a special name there. Uh, he played bad yesterday, but today he was on fire, so it's going to be a good battle. In the morning, it's a little more easier. Uh, it's a little bit softer, and the ghost doesn't fly so much. And, and yeah, I, I hit, I mean, I almost hit every fairway and, and just be aggressive to the green. So I think the key was being aggressive and, and got a good putter. Try to do the same as I did today and try to see how it's going to be for the weekend. A lot of golf still to be played, just the second round. As the numbers stand right now, Neiman, number one amateur in the world, Ghana, the defending champ. Uh, Lopez Riverola is the current leader at five under par. Now, every player in the field has made their own special journey to make it to this prestigious amateur event. But as Todd Lewis reports, some have had to overcome more than others. For several players in the field of the Latin America Amateur, they are hoping to use this championship as a springboard to bigger and better opportunities. But for one player in the field, the hope of having a better opportunity in his home country right now is bleak. However, as he does on the golf course, he keeps fighting. For Ernesto Martinez of Venezuela, competing in the Latin America Amateur fills him with personal pride. He's not chasing the professional golf dream. He and his wife are in the banking industry in his hometown of Caracas. However, Ernesto does not take pride in the current state of his country. We have no food, we have no jobs, we have people getting the smallest income you could ever possible think of, and no security, no personal security. It's the very worst that you could think. Protests against the government have become common in Venezuela, often turning violent, and in some cases, deadly. Despite the dangers, Ernesto estimates that he's been a part of 40 of those protests. It's like uh, raising our voice, being heard, taking in consideration for the Venezuelan government and taking into consideration by the international governments so we can get a little help if we could and put the government to think that they are not the majority. Last June, Martinez was part of yet another protest when the violence touched him. We were protesting Las Mercedes and came a police fleet, so I had to run, I had to get my back to them. When they were like 30 feet away, they shot me a um, the smoke grenade, and I got shot in the, in the elbow. Being hit by a smoke grenade created a deep gash and a fractured left elbow. However, at that moment, Ernesto knew things could have gone much worse. Life passes you in a flash. I thought about life, I thought about my wife, I thought about my golf. I thought about everything. I, I failed to the floor, so I think I could probably get another shot and got killed right there. It didn't happen, thank God. Over time, the fracture healed. And after rehab, Martinez was able to prepare for the Latin America Amateur Championship. 
But the physical and emotional scars remain, along with the reminders while here in Chile that his country has a long way to go in an effort to catch up with the rest of the world. We can't have all this that every people have in every country in the world, South America, North America, Europe, Asia. And we are so bad right now. We are a point of comparison 40 years ago. We are now the poorest country in the region. So it gives me anger to know that we live in the worst country possible we can imagine. It's devastating. As for golf in Venezuela, Ernesto says that the courses there are depleted, not very well manicured, and he feels like it's an honor to play on a great golf course like Prince of Wales Country Club here in Santiago. He will go back to Venezuela after this championship, and he will continue to protest, saying he will do whatever he can to change his country. Thanks, Todd. When we come back, we hear from John Rahm inside the press center next. <laughs> 